What's up, YouTube? I made a video was like two weeks ago, so there was something on my mind that I've been wanting to talk about, just express my feeling and my thoughts, and something I've been thinking about for a while. And I've read, really haven't seen a video about it or anybody speaking about it, but it seems like nowadays a lot of um, a lot of owner operators or a lot of drivers are coming out of here. They're coming out of school, and uh, from people that I've seen, I have a buddy of mine, you know, come out of school and they go with a with a with a, with a company. They have no experience. They pretty much don't know much about the trucking industry. And um, it seems like they go out, they work six months, get the training in, and uh, before you know it, they're a lease operator. And um, not that I have anything against it, but this is my my opinion on it. Let me get out of the way. This is my opinion on it. You don't necessarily have to be everybody else's this is my opinion if you're out here and you've only been driving six months a year you're doing your training and whatever the case may be that the company you're running or um, you're working for they're telling you that they don't have a truck for you or they're pretty much just pushing you and painting you a pretty picture of lease operator you're gonna make all this money and all this and this and that I don't think you have the experience I don't think people out here haven't been long enough have the experience have the knowledge of what it takes to be uh, a lease operator what it takes to the whole business about it it's not just people think that when you're a lease operator or you know it's just like driving a truck it's more than that once you're getting into the whole side of uh, you're gonna be a lease operator, it's not just driving a truck. You turn into a mechanic, you, you turn into a businessman. And I feel like companies are out here, I don't know, I, I'm just talking, because I've seen people and I've heard people, um, and I have a buddy of mine who went through this. Companies are out here and they'll give a, you know, they, 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 they paint you a pretty picture. They don't just read you the fine print, they don't tell you that, you know, you're gonna pay for all these expenses. They're not going to tell you that, you know, the business side of it. And I could talk from this. I've been driving going on eight years now. And only a year and a half of those eight years, I was a company driver. So the res the remaining of that time, I was, I've been an owner operator. So I know the ins and outs of being an owner operator. Not that I learned it real quick, but it took me some time. And that's the only way why I'm su successful now at it, that my business, I can grow and keep on moving forward. But it's because of everything I've learned over the time. But for me, I guess I was lucky because I was raised in trucking. So my family was pretty much all owner operators. I knew what it was. Um, I got prepared when I was in... Um, high school you know i've been out here for like i said eight years and when i was in high school i took three years of diesel tech i worked for international dealer i worked at a trucking company for two years so i learned a lot when it had to do of the part as fixing mechanic budgeting then it came to the business side where that's where I kind of had a problem and I failed. I failed back in 2011. I failed. I, I wasn't doing good managing my money and that's when I had to sell my truck, work for a company for a year. And that's when I gave when I came back in 2012 at it again, at a different, different perspective because I learned the totally ins and outs of business side of running a truck. Just because you have one truck does not mean you do not have a business. Yes, you're a businessman. You're leasing to a company. You're in partners with a company. And it's, it's so much about it that I, I feel like companies are out here and they set guys up for failure because they're not really training these people. I feel like 
they show them, they train them. Okay, we're going to train you to get your license. And we're going to train you to get your license. You're going to become a, a, owner, a, a truck driver. But when it comes to that point that they're going to, let's say you work for a company for a year. And they're going to send you out there to for you to become a lease operator, whatever you want to call it. Are companies training these guys on, hey, you know, there's, I'm going to speak for me, where I'm from in PA, here's where you have what's called a road tax, which is due every August. There's guys out here that don't know what that is. How to get your EFTA stickers. There's all that kind of stuff where, yes, the company provides you with all that stuff, but who's to say you're going to stay with that company forever? You know what I mean? You got to learn. You really have to learn. Um, all these things, the ins and outs, you know, your tax, your tax preparations, getting ready for the end of the year to pay for your taxes, your road tax, your plates. These are things that if you don't learn, then you're stuck with big companies that will get you your license plate. Even if you're, if you're an owner operator, you own your truck, they will get you a, comp, uh, a license plate. They will get you insurance. They will get you your EFTA stickers, your HUD stickers for New York. If you don't learn these things, then you're pretty much going to have to um, stay with companies that do provide all that stuff. For instance, I work for a small company. I'm leased to a small company where they don't provide no license plate, no insurance, you know. So that all comes out of my pocket. Those are things that I had to learn as I went on that I, how to get my license plate, how to apply for that, how to apply for my um, heavy highway tax, which is due every August. Um, these are things that guys are out here being as lease operators or even being owner operators don't know what that is it, and it amazes me that companies like i said once again will paint you a pretty picture shove it down your throat for you to go out and do it paint you you're gonna make all this money but they don't tell you everything else that i guess i guess what i'm saying is companies should think about you know should think about preparing these guys if you guys if you want your drivers to succeed Prepare these guys, show them, send them out with a lease operator, read them every fine print. This is how. Sorry, I was getting a call. This is how it's going to, this is how it's going to go. This is what it's going to cost you. This is what, what you can expect. These are things that guys are not being told and then they go out here and then they don't succeed, and then these are the type of guys that I've seen, I've witnessed, that I personally know, quit driving. Oh, that wasn't for me. No, you just didn't take your time to learn the ins and outs. Go to another lease operator, ask questions, you know? It, it, me, I'm the type of person, people call me all the time. I'm, I'm a very, very friendly person, they call me. A bunch of people that I know here from the area. Ask me a question, how do you fix this? How do you do that? I don't have a problem, you know? I, I learned once from my pops, from my grandpa, from my uncles. They were all owner operators. I learn. You know, I always have my ear out. How do I do this? I have friends that have been driving longer than me that uh, when it comes to the business side, they're real good. When it comes to the mechanic side, I'm good. I show them. And when it comes to the business, I learn from them how to manage this, how to manage your money with this, how to make yourself give yourself a salary. These are things that people need to take into, into consideration if you want to succeed, if you want to be like, oh, wow, you know, people, me, I'm a young person. There's a bunch of owner operators out there. I'm, I know. I understand. Everybody runs their business a different way. There's a bunch of owner operators that are older than me that succeed. And hey, that's fine. I, I, I learned from you guys. But me, I'm 29 years old and I've been doing it for a while and I, and I've, and I succeed. I, I have nothing but success. And... It's because I learn, I open my ear, I take, I take notes, I pick people's brains. Even if there's people out here that are not owner operators, I watch their videos, I, I, I pick. I always, always try to stay upbeat, always ahead on what's new out there, new laws coming up. Always, because this is my business, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm going to be doing for a while, this is what I love. I need to stay up, and I feel like making this video will help out you know maybe a company will see this and say hey we need to come up with a program they should man i'm all for that i think big companies should come up with a, some type of program that will send a guy out for a week or two with one of their very own owner operators 
And hey, man, maybe they'll think about it twice and be like, nah, or maybe I need to get myself prepared a little bit more. That way we don't have these guys quitting and quitting on driving on, 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 the, on, on the industry. Very good industry, there's very money to be made, but I think the right preparation is the key to success out here. Learning of everything, not just driving, fixing it. If you want to save money, fine. You got companies like Prime that will give you a brand new truck. Oh, I don't have to worry about a warranty. Yes, but you're paying $2,000 monthly for a truck. It's a lot of money. Watch videos. A buddy of mine that I follow and I met, the little guy trucker, look at his videos, how he was doing it with Prime. He can tell you from his experiences. That, that, that one company that he's working for now, Night Transportation, I heard, I don't know all the full details about it, but I heard that they were starting to lease trucks out to their guys, but they were a little bit older trucks. That way you wasn't paying $2,000 a month or $2,500 a month because they want you to succeed. That's what I want to see. I want to see guys out here succeed. I don't want them to come out here and give it, give, give it a go for three months and they said, I can't do this. I can't afford to be a lease operator. I'm going to quit the industry. No, get prepared. Before you go on to this, before you make the decision of, I'm going to be a lease operator or no operator, get prepared. Ask the company questions. Ask this. Ask everything. Ask as many questions as you can. That way you can you have success in the future. I've done it. I love being an owner operator. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm sorry. That's just me. I don't have nothing against people that drive for companies, very good companies after me. I just can't do it. I love being an owner operator. I love coming out here on a Saturday and checking my truck over and doing what I have to do. I do not mind that. I've already grown to it. My wife has grown around it. And it's just who I am. It's just who we are. That's what we deal with. Something breaks, we fix it. I don't have a new truck. I have a, I have a 98 International, and I wouldn't trade it. Love my truck to death. It's a warrior. It don't break down on me. And when it does, it's part of the game. You got to spend money to make money. I don't have a problem with it. Yes, I'm lucky. I'm fortunate. I learned when I was growing up. I learned in school. So I have the experience. I can fix my truck. I have friends that I can get parts from. Always make friends everywhere you go. I have friends here and there. If I can't work on my truck one day because it's cold outside and I don't have a shop, I have friends that I trust that will work on my truck at a decent rate. I don't use truck stops for anything. Why? People say, why not? Truck stops are very, very overpriced. Unless it's not an emergency to the point that it's an emergency, I don't go to truck stop just because um, we know the industry is. Sometimes freight is better than other days. Sometimes it pays more. So I got to try to budget my money as much as I can so I can success. If I can get by that I can fix it, mostly I do all my work. And I have somebody I trust that has decent rates. That's my go guy. I have friends that will get me that I don't go. I know people I can get parts for discounted prices. I always look everywhere. I have connections. If I'm going to be in this business, I'm going to be in it for the long haul. And I'm going to make the best out of it. I'm going to succeed in everything I do. That's just how I was brought. That's just, and I want people to succeed. I want more owner operators to come out here and more drivers. And not only owner operators, because what's happening is these guys are coming out here. They're, tr they're going to, uh, you're a lease operator. Then they don't just say, well, I'm going to go back to company. I've seen a lot of them just quit the industry. And it was the company's fault. To me, it's the company's fault because they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't leave them time to get their feet wet, to learn the ins and outs of trucking, and they just threw them, oh, go ahead, be a lease operator. You can do it. You can make money. No, no. That's not how it goes. You got to get your feet wet. You got to learn the industry. You got to learn um, business about it. You got to learn everything. There's so much to know about, about running a truck, about running a business, that I feel like we need to do a better job. I try to tell people. People come up to me and I try to tell them the truth. It's this, 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 this. It's a little bit of a headache. But me, personally, to me, is nothing no more. I'm, my, my, my body, my mind, you know, my family, everybody, we're just, this is who we are. But I try to tell guys all the time, man, this is how it's going to go. This it may sound hard sometimes, but hey, I just want people to succeed. I don't want them to say, I got into it and I didn't know. And there's a bunch of companies out here that are 
presenting that option now for drivers hey we're going to lease operators but please companies try to have like an incentive or a, a tutoring program i don't know what you call it something that they can go with a lease operator that way they know what they're going to get themselves into you know let them know what a tire costs let them know what you know these guys should be like a training program. Hey, learn how to adjust your brakes. Learn how to grease a truck. Little things like that that will keep a little bit of money in your pocket. That way you can succeed in what you want to do. I don't want guys to you know, leave the industry. There's already a shortage in drivers, you know. And if we want more drivers to come along, drivers, if you're out there and you know a little something, hey, man, always get past the information down. I do it. I get it from other guys. It's just the only way we're going to grow, you know? It's the only way we're going to be out here succeeding, delivering freight, and getting the job done the right way. So I just wanted to express my thoughts about it. Like I said, I just want people to succeed, man. It's just what it's about. I don't want people to quit the industry, give up on it when there is money to be made still, you know? You just got to go the right way about it. Got to get the right training. And... Um, got to get very, very, very familiarized with what you're going to get into and learn. There's always room for learning. There's never too old to learn. There's always, always room for learning. So, um, that's it. I'm done. I'm here doing my paperwork. I'm going to go home, clock out for the day. And, um, just keep that in mind. If you're going to do it, ask a million questions before you do it. That way you can succeed. That's all we want out here it's all a brotherhood and that's all we should want for one another i know there's one some out there that don't want that at hate but hey that's just part of the ball game be happy smile about it and um everybody has a wonderful day enjoy the rest of the week it's tuesday where i'm at now and um i don't know see you later on make a video about something something to talk about um but be safe out there and succeed that's all I want everybody to do out here, just like I do. Succeed in everything you do. It's a good industry. And have fun doing it. Have fun doing it. It's fun out here. So anyway, be safe, and I'll catch up with you later.